Alright, so this is the next video from where I left off previously. So as you can see this dent that I made on purpose, right, to make the um, chest wall where you can see it's narrowing in. Well, there's this upper part for the scarf or whatever the hell this is and then it narrows in here, right? So. Again, that's this. If you look as a sculptural piece, if anything, probably even this here. Maybe even some more. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah there you go. But this part it broadens out because of the scarf. But this part here it narrows in. I'm gonna just keep it simple and tighten this up some more. Then this, right, I'm gonna also push this in. Continue with the overall shape. All right. So that's definitely narrow. This part, see the scarf is confusing me. But for now, I'm gonna just keep it like that. I'll tuck that in a bit. This I like. See? You see it right there? This reads like a... If you were to cut, cut through the body, right? You could read that this is gonna be the shoulder. This is the sternum. And this is the back. Right? Takes there's a little bit of a good amount of patience, right, to learn and see what, what we're doing. Right? I already can tell the back wall needs more volume. Okay. And the drawings also I mean the toys it also verifies that the back wall is a little more volume. See the tell right here see this side wall, the light catching it right there, the side wall, there's some more mass, so what should we do now, I'm going to take a chance, grab these, I'm going to scoot them back a bit more. to go from shaded on wireframe, wireframe on shaded and turning it on and off. It helps me to see where I need some changes. Alright, I think I'm ready to chuck a edge up here. I have all this big chunk of open faces, insert edge loop. Probably gonna need I'm gonna just try, I'm gonna need two, I know for a fact I'm gonna need two. I wanna try to avoid it, but anyway, I did not put it right in the middle because um, I put it right here so that my faces are evenly distributed. Uh, this guy's pulled back, so I'm gonna just pull, pull it back in here. I just pushed it in, straightened it out. I'm gonna do that. Then instead of um, working every one of them, I'm just gonna straighten this out too. I'm gonna push this in. All right, maybe I'll tuck this back out. All right, so I'm looking at my spacing, 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 All right, spacing. just from here it looks straight from here you can see the curvature is nice my train tracks right my train tracks are nicely parallel 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 keeping with the curvature 
with that I'm gonna go pump it out like maybe this much yeah because right. I'm looking at this line right now this is what I'm looking at right, the arch of the back right now this part is caved in so I'm gonna tuck it out and now it's getting too straight right see how straight that is push it in push this out see, see how it's how it's behaving the subdivision surfaces that's number one what's the most important to learn from this project everything else is secondary And you learn to control the subdivision surfaces by carefully coordinating your lines and your face planks, the polygon planks, so that they're evenly distributed and they're running and facing properly. See? My train tracks. This is all having to do with topology. Even though it's just going vertically up and down. Alright, so I'll pump that out a bit. So I got my nice side wall. See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm controlling my side wall. is a bit stiff right see reason why it's stiff is because this plank right this uh, column this strip of topology it's too close Let's see what happens if I widen it before after let's widen it some more right still has that stiffness So, since it has that stiffness I kind of don't like, I'm going to broaden this chest wall, this part right here. This chest wall, I'm going to tuck it in a bit so it's nice and round. looking at it and this part here is super like a plank real like stiff plank so before I even start to add over here I want to touch this up right because if you add more edge loops before fixing up some areas it just multiplies the problem so I'm thinking this and this since this, these faces, they're so tightly close to each other, it's causing that planking, right? See that plank board, the stiff line? And that's why 
if I go in here, I grab these two, right? If you have parallel tracks and they're close, it helps to stiffen it. Well, not helps, but it makes the stiffening stronger, right? These planks. They're really relatively pretty close and proportionally the faces are pretty close. So if I just loosen this up, so you have tight, right? A tight face like that, it gets looser, the proportions of the faces, and then it gets about the same. But since this, this, compared to this, got looser, right? Fatter face, it should loosen up a bit. Yeah, it did. Now I'm going to grab this, again this is from grabbing this where I had previously made it a little bit too tight, I pushed it in, I pushed it back out including this. Now this one I'm going to just push it out some more, right, and then maybe I'll push it in like this. Then I'm going to grab these, right, this roll not robot, column of lines, maybe I'll tuck it in, maybe I was too aggressive previously, maybe I can grab this, tuck that in some more, see, nice round, grab this, tuck that in, Grab that. I don't like how it's flaring out a bit. Tuck that in. See? Alright. Kinda don't like this. I was kinda doing this shape. Grab this and poke this out a bit. Okay, grab that, poke that out, tap it. Alright, so it kind of widens and come back, comes back in. The shading. This here, this is a. Uh, makes shadow contacts when you start to have uh, other body parts. That's for later. Ambient screen space, ambient occlusion, blah 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 blah, whatever. See, but you get you're starting to see the shape. See, see how this wide and transitions narrow. Right here, this part's losing. Uh, it's losing its volume because it needs that extra line. This part here could bulk up a little bit more, maybe. Right. So that's what, 13 minutes? Alright, so all that time, right? But you will understand what, what a student will take from this is that, like I said before, learning to understand how this thing behaves. Once you understand how this thing behaves and how to control how the shading behaves you know then you can make whatever you want which will lead to more and more advanced modeling you know which is just basically using a multi-cut tool yeah all right anyway that's the end of this video that's uh almost 15 minutes and then i'm gonna work on some more probably and touch up this area because a big old chunk right there's no way to avoid this and then most likely I have to add one more here yeah because this is stretching the hell out and I need to have, hold the volume of the pelvis give it a nice round bowl like old 
oval bowl, right? But now it's doing this. So this is not like the pelvis area. This is not anatomically correct. See, this is nowhere near anatomically correct. This is this is idiotic shape. So I gotta pump it up by adding more lines, two more lines here and here, but to do it carefully so that your model will not blow up. Alright, that's the end of that. Bye.